All right, so welcome along to another Portal 2 blind run video. Today we're going to play Layers of Cognition by Narcodes. And in fact, I'm saying that we're going to play it today, but it's probably going to take me a very long time to complete this absolute beast of a map, uh, which has difficulty of 8 out of 10 and has reportedly taken players more than 14 hours to beat. Um, so yeah, we're in we're in for the long run this time. Uh, I I took the liberty of reading this uh, monster of a description in advance uh, with a lot of very specific information that I'm not quite sure yet at the moment what it exactly means. But I uh, I suppose I'll just notice it when I'll start playing. Um, but the key thing to take away is that it's very difficult. It uses the portal on off uh, button concept and every B mod field at once, of which there's a chart provided here. Um, but yeah, let's just take a look at what we have. Yeah, it's a custom uh, entrance, like there's no uh, thingy on the wall. Please read the description before playing I did, and I remember like 5% of it. The button spawns all three cubes at once. Okay, well, sounds like a good idea. Um, but this looks pretty cool. This is nice. I like that. Oh, this is um, a camera facing something. This is um, a little little pit. This is a turret dropper. Reminds me of Leo's map. Um, oh my god. Do we want to drop the turret? I don't know. Every time the life sensor turns yellow, the turret gets spawned. Okay. Oh, I was just thinking I'll, I'll, I'll take a short peek, but he doesn't, he definitely does not want me to take a brief peek. Haha, <laughs> haha, interesting. I have no idea how he would even program that. But he somehow did, so. Props. So yeah, I have this cube. Gravity be like. Even jumping isn't intended. Ah, this is nice. I recall saying that Narcotes. I, I I recall hearing him say that he he really dislikes the overgrown stuff. Is this a jammed cube between lift and field ground collision collision which no oh, I think I read something about that in the description anyway. Haha. <laughs> Alright, so this is the main room, I think. Like uh, I don't really know, it's hard to see. So these are four fields just stacked. Um, and I can briefly disable this one. Relay deactivates the entire Death Fizzler. Okay. Um, that's interesting because there is... Well, I don't know where the alleged Death Fizzler should be. So... Am I supposed to put this cube on top or something? Can I can it press the button like this? Yikes. Okay. Um Oh I guess I can just go up myself. Oh 
accident, the expert is not. This is like the absolute fizzler that even fizzles my portals when uh, the portal gun is deactivated. And I can deactivate it like this. And I'm probably make a run for it safely. Yeah. Okay. Angered lights through wall portals are part of the intense solution. Yeah, that's that's the sad part. So what's this? The turret. Oh, there's a second cube here. The um the architecture in this map is really quite uh, special, I'd say. So there's a lot of stuff. Like how many custom things did he make? Sweet description. I know, I know, I know, but I forgot. It's so much. Bruh. Oh my god. So the exit is over there. Um, so this Fizzler is impossible to deactivate. That's interesting. Which means the only real way to do anything meaningful with this cube is just to. Uh, no. This, I think. That makes sense, right? Just uh, toss it over the thing. Man, the graffiti in this map. Super strong turret. As long as it leaves the marked area under the Purple field means instant death. Okay. Okay. I'm supposed to burn it by getting the laser through this little window. Um, alright. This is a nicely fake deactivation condition. Ceiling serves as a portal magnet with fixed orientation. It will always grant a high laser. Oh, I see. That sucks. Right, so I get my portal gun from this. And I deactivate this thing. So this is kind of useless. How do you even make these patterns? So, so this is probably a way for me to... Isn't there like a receiver there? If I get um, a laser cube inside this area. But yeah, I don't think there's anything for me to do at this stage. Oh wait, there's something over here also. Oh, it actually does something. It deactivates this purple field for no real reason. Certainly some interesting stuff going on when looking through portals. But this is just going to drop me all the way down, right? So 
So we'll fold through both of these fields. Yes. Well, I can at least take this guy with me. I don't know, I, I recall the description saying something like um, you can't put two cubes up on the field because the timer is too short or, or it's going to be really difficult to get both of them uh, up on the field so Perhaps one should start thinking about um, how would I obtain the third cube? Right, what could you even do? You just have to... Like I think uh, the only way to do it is to somehow press this button from a distance. Now there's a portal service here, so I suppose you're just going to drop the cube or any cube through um, on the timer. Now the question is of course, where have I seen a floor surface? And I wouldn't be able to tell the answer because I can't recall seeing any floor surfaces anywhere. I didn't recall seeing floor surfaces. Perhaps I should take another look. The description also specified explicitly not a no clip. There's something over there though. Um, and I have no idea what's there, and I am going to no clip. Oh, it's. Wait, what is this? This is like a full reset room. Seems fairly oddly placed considering that it seems quite difficult to get there. Um, um, right, so this Life form sensor just continues like this. So there is a, a random portal service here, which allows me to drop in here and then through here, which apparently is important for some reason. I'm still looking for a floor service. Here? Okay. Here's a floor service. Seems to be the only one. Um, but of course, before I can um, make use of this, I'm going to have to put a cube onto that button. Um, which, you know, seems pretty difficult. Well, 
the moment I jump down with the cube, right? Then they're both like, high up, right? So now I could swap them, I guess. This is certainly possible. Now... So... I can do this. Um... I don't know to what end. Like, I want a cube in this middle area. Yeah, but there's no point. Well, I guess I can see something else, like this. Does it do anything? Do you even see this? No, I, I won't. Wait. Can I see this? I should be able to, right? So this allows me to get a... Uh, wait, it does not because... Or does it? I was thinking, like if I would take this cube and put it through... I guess you can put it through the surface without going through yourself. And then... Like, go up. Ah, but I probably need a cube on this button to... Able to reach my laser cube again. Um, which kind of sucks. Right, pressing the button, I can put that cube through, but then how will I get there? I'm pretty sure I can't. This is something that disables the death fizzle. I, I think I spotted near the exit. Yeah, it's all the way near the exit. Yeah, no one really cares about that. Respawning both cubes is probably not the way to go. Because I want to avoid going through that fizzler. I just need both cubes while I do this. It seems very difficult. Alright, so I just noticed this little timer icon next to the laser field. So let's hope it's long enough. Oh yeah, that seems long. There we go. Boom. 
Um, all right, now we have the portal gun. That's uh, that's something I'd say, right? Um, we can jump down to the orange level if we so desire. Um, what I'd rather do is... Oh, I just actually... Well, I, I don't... I guess I didn't have to disable the yellow field to do that. Um, because I just want to... So, okay. Let's save here. It is still my goal to get the third cube. So that means I have to th shoot a portal there. So one cube is going to be here when I do that. And then I... Okay, well, let's think about this. So... I shoot a portal there, which I basically can only do from in here. And then I have to leave in such a way that I, well, I have to leave, right? So I can only do that through this. So that's going to kill my portal. Um, so I guess I'm just going to leave through the portal. That's a fact. So I shoot a portal, I go through it, and then hopefully, I still need a null portal at some point. I still have the null portal at some point. Is there a way to clear a portal? Right, because so what I'm thinking is if I have that floor portal, right? Let's uh, no clip. I th um, like I can't just respawn the cube and expect it to gently fall onto the button, right? You, it's going to just fly out. So I need somehow a null portal kind of thing, but I don't see where I could achieve said null portal. Because I don't see any flipping surface. Also not here. Some ceiling surface. Anything in here? No. So yeah, that's a puzzle. Alright, so... I've been doing some thinking, and I think I might have uh, I might have thought of a way to possibly spawn the third cube. Now. It took me the longest time to realize that this surface is grated. So if I would want to um, gently drop out a cube through that surface, I thought I had the null portal, but maybe not if I use the grating here to block the cube. So, that's what we're going to work towards. Now, so if you get if you grab the portal surface, then after that you move the portal to the ceiling, then you're going to have to go down all the way um, without using portals. Um, so this grating here, I kind of so there's like this orange fizzler. 
kind of want to get rid of that. So I think I... But I don't think the yellow fizzler should be such a big problem. So I think I'm going to move the laser cube to this button here. And I think that should be doable. Um, namely, uh, like I can just... Um, Right, uh, that should be fine, right? Uh, this board is... Well, I, I can take laser cube there. I can take it out. Then I can just put it on the button, right? Um, yeah, I can just use this board service in that one. Yeah, okay. So let's, let's, let's do that. So step one is <coughs> getting this guy out of here again. Which is perfectly doable. Now, edit this. And. Um, this. And then I'll just put it against the button. There we go. Alright. So now that I can freely jump all the way down without needing any portals and without losing any portals. It's also very important. Um, I will proceed to... Okay, maybe we have to be a bit careful here. Because I want to shoot the ceiling. So like, the only way to get this portal here out is by like shooting up service here first, jumping up, going through. Okay, but this yellow fizzler is kind of in the way. Contrary to what I suppose just a few seconds prior. So. It's actually far from ideal. Possibly that's an issue. I'm thinking, can I not... Temporarily, just temporarily... Kill this cube. And then later put it back on. Right, if I would kill the cube, I can walk through this fizzler just fine. Then the button, and if the cube like uh, is, is is here, I can just shoot a portal there, put it on, and then I have access to this surface. Then all I have to ensure is that I can that the um, laser cube is still there in order to allow my full drop down. So can I achieve that? Like I, I just need to respawn. Yeah, I just need to respawn the cubes. So, I don't really care about the turret. So, I respawn the cubes, okay? This is a, an audacious move. Um, yes. That's what I do. Of course, my portal gun is, is gone, right? Uh, but it shouldn't be the end of the world. Because my portal is right where I want it to be. And the cube is also right where I want it to be. Um, 
Yes. Right, so now I can I can nicely go with my cube here. I can just put it here. Oh, that's a nice little sign. Jump through the fist without losing the portal, importantly. Stand on the button. Shoot the portal. Grab the cube. Okay. Put it back on the button. Do this. Safely jump down without losing any portals. And now. This should be it, right? To respawn the cube. It's going to get stuck there. No, I don't think this is quite it yet. Because when I respawn the cubes, of course, I can't move my ports anymore. So, this was a nice idea, except that you kind of already want the... You kind of already want a cube in place. Sitting there. That's that's real rough. <laughs> that's real rough. Wait, didn't the cube auto respawn? It does. Okay. 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 That means that if I had my cubes the other way around. I could just kill this one, for example, in the little goo pit that's over there, to get it to sit here. Okay, and then it would be done. Okay. So let's let's do it. We know exactly what we have to do. We just forgot one cube swap. Well, not really a cube swap, because at some place we uh, just respawned both cubes. But we just had to put the other one in the right place. Oh boy. I hope that didn't cause any glitches as narcos warned. No, it should be fine. Okay, now, with that done, I'm to go back up. Uh, no, of course, I have to cut the portal. Okay, move it down, respawn both cubes, <coughs> um, don't forget to bring the cube of course, okay, so now um, you are going to be the one to go up here. Oops. And you are going to go here. Okay. Now I can move my blue portal. Jump down. Get the cube. Just 
destroy it. And shooting blue there should give me the third cube. Here we go. <laughs> well, that has to be one of the most elaborate ways to spawn a cube I have ever seen. Though, I guess it's of comparable complexity as, like, getting the third cube into play in isotope, so in that respect, I guess it makes sense. But now we have to be very careful because we can never ever press this button again. Because I am... I am extremely certain... Well, I would... Let's, let's phrase it differently. I would be very surprised if there is some hidden second way to spawn this cube, right? This looked so unique. Um, the way to do this feels... Like it just feels so unique that I just cannot envision a second respawn of this cube. Like, this this, this cube just has to be here until the end. And since this, this guy respawns everything, including this one, like, there's just no way, there is no way to, like, I don't see what, what could possibly be the, um, the benefit, right? Like, both of my portals have to be in these precise positions, all the cubes are reset. There's no way that respawning this cube again could give any, any benefit. So this, this is a, just a, an element crossed off the list. Um, so I don't have to worry about these at all anymore, and that reduces the complexity of the puzzle. Now, now that I have three cubes, I think it's clear what the next goal is going to be, and that is how to kill this turret here. But that said, there is a nasty. There is a nasty side effect, is that just killing the turret once is not enough, because if you accidentally walk through here... Um, ...you might spawn it again. So... Yeah, let's start thinking of ways to get rid of the cube. <laughs> the, the turret, not the cube. What am I even saying? Perhaps it's also worth thinking for a brief moment. How, how would you exit, right? How would you? How would you exit? You would somehow have to shoot. Um, you would, you would have to shoot this surface drop onto the fist like I'm pretty sure this this uh, you can walk on the purple fizzler and then subsequently uh, disable the laser field by activating this receiver this uh, relay that's barely even visible uh, through the stuff Now, shooting the ceiling service requires killing the... requires the turret being dead, right? So, um, you can't, you can't... well, it requires a lot of stuff, right? It requires this thing to be activated. And the turret to be dead. So, two things. 
Well, three things. Because it also requires me to have my portal gun. So that's a very restrictive uh, set of conditions. Uh, though, this one is simply... It, well, it's, it's easy to activate by just shooting these two um, portal surfaces. So in theory, uh, it sh sh shouldn't be the end of the world. Now we have to also be careful that uh, there's another interesting little mechanic here that like, once I grab my portal gun, getting over there is uh, pretty difficult because my 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 floor kind of disappears so there's an added conundrum of how would you be here with your portal gun active like is there is there a, a portal service in this area the answer is definitely not So that's that's a conundrum we will have to solve, and so even after we drop through, um, we're going to have to activate this. Now we can see the laser. That's that's easy, though the problem with that is that it's always a top laser. And that, so that means that you can't just put put one laser cube here and aim at this, because this will always be a top laser, right? Okay, I'm just experimenting a bit, but this is obviously intended. So the intended way to get this final. The intended way to get this final uh, relay is undoubtedly going to be this. Of course, there is an issue with that. In the sense that how would you disable this guy? Oh, there's a cube in the way. I guess you just place it later. And then you have to somehow... Um, oh, this looks a little ugly, actually. Um, yeah, I, I guess you just have to place it later. So I think I've I've worked out how to um, how to do the uh, the stuff with the um, how to how to uh, get across the the white stuff because I think what. What just, what just happened? <laughs> that was, what? Wait, I was, I just. Bruh. Man. I'm just trying to demonstrate a point here. <laughs> Narcodes keeps killing me. Okay, so the okay, I'll just explain in words then. The idea was that I can take a cube across when the turret is gone, and then like destroy it using the death fizzler. Then, when that's been done, um, the cube will fall, and if I have my portal here on the highest surface, I just tested that it will stay on the button. Activating my portal. Then. So, so that's where the regular cube is going to be when I finally, um, 
when I finally do my exit sequence. Now, which is a bit... So the... the, the The worrying bits. No, there's no worrying bits. So, I suppose after I've done that, I can just disable this by shooting one, two portals. That should be easy. And then I can just do this. And the hard bit, of course, is going to be to, to then set up... Um, these two I right, set to set up the, the laser cube in this way because they both of the services that I'm going to need for the end setup are below this yellow fizzler so that means that one laser cube is going to sit here while the other has to sit here why it has to disable this Relay. Okay, in theory it could... No, it can't sit on the purple fizzler. Because cubes fall through purple fizzlers. So, it has to sit here. To disable this yellow fizzler. So you would like... Um, well, there's actually one thing I, I haven't tested. Yeah, this is also definitely possible. So, like, once you've set this up... You can just, so like, you're standing here, you've set this up, you drop through the ceiling again, then you would just shoot this surface to disable the that field, and then you would shoot um, this guy to open the exit. And go. So the laser stuff is actually not that, that big. And the, the, the thing that intrigues me quite a bit about this uh, proposed plan for the exit moves that I I only need two cubes really I only need two right because I need him to do this and him to do this and then I can just exit so the other cube is just going to help me set this stuff up of course a difficult bit is going to be to extract this portal surface and to have the turret dead how does this man have two large observation rooms Let's also start thinking about how would you kill the turret, so... Obviously we have to redirect the laser from somewhere on this white field. Um, and of course the laser... So if the, the laser... Um, so I guess you have to set up one cube like this, right? Otherwise the laser is just going to hit the bottom of the white field. So I guess you would do... Oh, I think that's an angle you can make, actually. It, uh, well, there is a chance that you do something completely ridiculous, which I'm now going to test. Okay, that was unnecessary. All right, so. I think the only way to kill the turret is to like place a laser cube here. And another well probably should have placed that one first. Like here. And then doing something like this. 
Yeah, that's what I thought. Now... The issue with this... The issue with this... Is that both my laser cubes will not survive the assassination of the turret. And that is not ideal. Though, in theory, it is possible to later assassinate a turret using this area here. So that one of the two laser cubes will survive. So. Of course, in theory. Um. It's not a big deal that my cubes die because I know how I can get them back. I've done it before. But, of course, now I have to suddenly do it in such a way that I don't respawn the turret. And I think, if I recall correctly, there is like... Um, so that means that I can only walk through this field exactly once, right? So now there's no turret because I just killed it. But And if I walk through it and it becomes blue, it doesn't spawn again. Only when I walk through the second time does it respawn. Yes. So I have to somehow execute the... first part of the solution again but now only walking through the field exactly once and it seems that 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 that's That moment comes pretty fast in that I have to retrieve this cube. Okay. Can I then do the whole thing without walking through the... Through the field? That seems strange. That seems pretty strange. Because getting into the, um, getting into this area is pretty darn difficult. In fact, I would even say it's it's necessary to walk through. Though then again, as I said, with the turret gone, in theory I could grant myself one extra, um, well, is that true? Is that true? I wonder what happens to the, um, oops. I was going to say, I wonder what happens to the turret 
when I um What if I would place a, a cube here, right? And then somehow respawn the turret. Does it does it survive its placement? Maybe this is too gimmicky what I'm trying to do now. And I definitely won't survive that. Definitely won't survive that. So in theory, once you kill the turret the first time, you can sort of walk through this field more times as long as you leave a, a cube there. Um, at the moment. Let you spawn it. It's just a theory. I don't know if that's actually going to be useful. Oh, but there's probably a much easier way. I'm probably just stupid. Oh no, I probably not. Like I was thinking maybe you can just do something like this right and then redirect the laser, but of course it's a top laser, so... Yeah. Turn doesn't care about top lasers. Alright, so I think I'm just going to kill the turret and see what happens. Um, killing the turret should be easy. Just need to get these two laser cubes up there. And it's basically equivalent to killing the turret. Um, so yeah, let's let's get these, these two bad boys up there, I guess. It's probably easiest if I... Um. If I open up this portal surface, actually, I probably just have to reset the whole puzzle. Alright, so uh, I've been kind of stuck at a silly place. Um, I've been trying to get two laser cubes on the top level here, um, but it's has proved to be more challenging than I had anticipated. I had expected it to just be a trivial set of steps, but um, either I'm missing something or I. W or it's really, really is non-trivial. Um, because, so the issue is that putting a cube on this button and jumping down is, is just not allowed anymore. Because the only way to ever get back to this island again and just to, to walk on this top level would be to, you know, take this cube off, but you, you can't get to it. You can't respawn it anymore because, you know, I'm kind of trying to hold on to this purple cube here. That's, that's nasty because, you know, this yellow fizzler prevents me from shooting down to the lower level, except for when I have this cube here. And trying to rescue it, it turned out to be uh, not so easy, but I think I have now found a way that might work so let me um, let me try to do what I had in mind um, Oh, uh, my bad. So let me try to do what I had in mind. 
and it involves taking this precious cube here getting it inside of this and now I kind of also want that cube inside of here but that should be easy I can just respawn it um, as uh, I say because well in spite of the fact that I also would like to um, get back up here. So how would I now get this cube? Um, Like the disabled fist uh, blocks the that that thing. Yeah, that's a bit annoying. I should be able to just take it all the way up here and then a little bit down. Well, I mean, I I guess I can also just destroy the cube and then grab it from inside of there. That's also fine. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I can just take the cube. now the orange field is actually very useful. Um. And that I can just walk all the way over there. Alright, now, the idea behind all of this was to do this. Right, you stack the cubes like this. Now, I... Do this. Now that this is all open, I can take out both both the laser cubes, and um, through this surface, get them on the top level. Now I'm not sure yet what I want to do with this um, companion cube. Um, so I, I think I'll just save here for now and just uh, <coughs> take these guys through. So man, that was trickier than I thought. Now um, I can finally kill the turret. Which 
is a very glorious moment. And I think this is the way to do it, even though it's... Yeah... <laughs> They'll suffer severe consequences from it. I just think I have to do it like this. I don't see any way to ri to like save a cube. All I have to do is just get that cube back without also respawning the turret. Um, but I um, yeah, I'll we'll have to see if it really works. So. That was the turret. Yep. This is actually pretty bad. <coughs> because... how do I get down? Okay, maybe I want to um, get this guy out as well. Okay. That's better. So now... I can just portal. I can just portal down, right? Like this. Ha 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 I left it in the wrong um it in the wrong state well let's pretend to left it in the right state so I can just once move past it but even then this is a this is a, quite an issue I'd say because Like, even if I do this and I can spawn it, then it's going to take me a second round to retrieve the cube. And that's... That's, that's not good, because then the turret is back. Oh man. The only way I could have prevented that first...
thing is if I had somehow had this portal here. You know, grabbing that low portal and taking it all the way up is hard. Because if I can't use portals, So, so you kind of want to kill the turret and already have a portal down there, but that's nasty because then you would have to so you shoot a portal, you come out of here, then you have to pass the grating, which is one, and then you have to pass this guy, which is two, so that, that requires all three of your cubes. But then you may wonder, well then, how did you even manage to shoot the portal in the first place? Because four, number four has to be there, but you would only have three. Okay, maybe I have an idea, so... Um, I think I am definitely going to want to bring both of these guys so I'm fairly sure that I want to collect all three cubes up there right Now all three cubes are up here. I had to fight pretty hard for this. Now what I want to do is the following. I want to... Alright, so... Sadly, um, when I finished my recording last week, um, it kind of got messed up because, um, yeah, apparently I can only record audio files of a length of three hours, um, and it didn't give me a notification when <laughs> when when, uh, when it stopped recording after these three hours. So so the last last bit of my solution was sadly not um, sadly not not uh, recorded. Um, but I I only managed to get a little bit farther. So let me show you what the idea was. So at some point. Um, I was here with these cubes and then I, 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 I used this to bring all cubes uh, up but the problem was that I um, somehow wanted to um, have a way down um, without having to rely on any cubes because that way I could leave one cube there after two of my laser cubes would, would be destroyed when killing the turret. And I would be able to um, retrieve a respawning cube without uh, dropping the turret again. Now I think, so at the time I realized that, that, that um, I'm going to have to use this portal service for this. Um, but it's not so easy to, to get that surface. But I, I worked out a way to do it and it has to do with the laser being on this level um, so what I'm going to do is the following I'm just going to take this cube through and I'm going to aim it like this right because this uh, can definitely hit that relay over there 
What I'm also going to do is um, bring a cube to that button. Um, and the reason for that will become clear in a second. Just have to remember something real quick. So how am I going to get both these cubes through this field? Oh, of course, it's easy. Yeah, you can just do this. Whoops. And then this. Right, so both cubes are through. Um, let me just bring this uh, very precious purple cube up here. And yeah, this this cube. Um, uh, I definitely want to get over there. Right, because the the thing is, I want to have all cubes up here, but I want my portal on that um, on that surface, right, all the way down there. And for that to happen, I need to turn off this yellow field, right, like this. And like now, now I can I can shoot, right? But I can't shoot that surface from here. So, so I put it in the button. Let's shoot it. But then the problem is, well, then how are you going to also get this this laser cube um, up here, right? Because if you give up on that portal. Um, Yeah, it's, it's not going to go through the orange field. Um, and the solution is to just not do it like this. And to simply first get a cube. Um, well, we're just first going to move this portal. Uh, this this, uh, this uh, blue one to there to get this companion cube over there and then I will just um, grab both cubes through that surface so I will do this um, Meant to shoot the other portal. So now this cube is going to go like this. <coughs> like this. Beautiful. Um so my my uh my cube drops and I'll just do boop. Now it's here. Um and well now I can just take them both to the uh to the right place. Whoops, that was not my intention. Bruh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Like this. That's one. And well, let's also do the other one. So this was the the, the part that I sadly uh, didn't record last last week because in case it wasn't clear uh, a whole week has passed since my last um, playing this this, this this map and I I purposely refrained from um, thinking about it too much in the meantime. Well, I definitely um, made an important realization during this time, and I think that's going to help me solve the puzzle. Namely, okay, so this is an important moment, right? So this this is this is the way I want to kill the turret. I think I already showcased it last time. If I didn't, well, this is how it's going to be. It's pretty cool, actually. Um, 
fight is going to going to be like this. That's that's one turret gone. And now the magic is that I have this cube here also. And I can just walk all the way to um, where the turret is supposed to be dropped. Um, and the, of course I can't use my portal anymore. Well, kind of can, but I can't... So, so without any cubes, getting down is difficult. Except when you already have prepared a portal this low. Um, so I can still get down. And... I'm going to have to... So, yeah, so I, I, I want to get this cube back, but I want to do it in such a way that I don't get any issues with the turrets. And in order to get the cube back, I'm going to have to... Walk through the field once to press the button, and then walk through the field a second time to grab the cube. And so this first time when I walk through it, a turret is going to drop. But it never really has the time to, to properly live because I placed the cube. And now I can respawn the cubes. I cannot save him. And I go here and now it's it's very important that I can that I no longer have the uh, the freedom to let the cure uh, to let the turret drop. But fortunately when I walk through it once the turret doesn't drop. Now I can no longer walk through this field. Um and so last time I, I kind of got stuck on, you know, how with this extra restriction of not being able to uh, walk through this field, how am I going to get the um, third cube again? That was the main uh, sort of conundrum that I just couldn't solve. And then uh, this week I thought at some point, didn't I notice at some point that in theory I might be able to work out the exit sequence with only two cubes. That's something that I noted last time and I'd completely forgotten about. But then I realized, well maybe, maybe it's impossible to now get this cube back. So maybe these two cubes, these two cubes are, are all I, I, I need. Um, so I think that these two cubes are, are going to be um, the only two cubes with which I will complete the puzzle. Um, so with this done, I'm going to try to set up um, the final moves. And I have already, so last time also think I showed it, I, I worked out that um, in order to be like on that platform with, uh, uh, with a portal gun, basically the only way I could do it was to drop the cube like from this wall onto the button. Um, I kind of had to do it like that. So, um, what, so what my goal is going to be is to try to set that up and then later hope that I can do it in such a way that this laser cube is going to be in the right place, which looking at the exit condition is going to have to be on top of the orange field in the middle of this room, which may be a little difficult to set up when you have portal constraints. So, you know, we're going to see how it, how it goes. But for now, um, yeah, I think we're pro probably just going to have to reset the puzzle again, uh, which is fine. So let me just, yeah, let, let me just uh, do that real quick. Okay, 
So this cube. Go in there. Oops. This always requires a little bit of timing. Works out first try. what I wanted to do. I wanted to do this. Right. Um, this is the beginning of the puzzle, right? Okay. Now I'm getting closer to the point of interest so what I would usually do is put this cube on this button like what I did, did in the beginning was put a cube on the button and then um, jump down to move the laser cube to that and then I would do some some tricky thing right so okay let me let me explain my thoughts so the thing is, I need to get, so I need to be here, like in, in this area, um, while having that portal. And the only way to have that portal is to leave a cube on the button, walk through the field, shoot the portal, um, jump up, should this portal go through, um... And then, sort of, like in the beginning, I, I would I would go all the way down, shoot this portal, then I would respawn the cubes, get out of the portal, walk through, and then shoot the portal again. So that's how you would set up that connection. Now, what I'm worried about is, first of all, that respawn. That's that's again. It's going to involve the turret. And second... Oh, that, that's, that's basically it, right? Um, so if you would want to do something similar to that, then what you would need is... Both the so so uh, one cube is going to sit here, the other would be sitting at the turret, and I would somehow need to have this portal and still somehow manage to get um, still somehow manage to get down. And that again is the is the hard part. Because like going into that portal is not a nice yeah, it's difficult. I almost feel like I first want both cubes up here. Set one cube there. Yeah, if I can just get both cubes up here, right? Just this one also here. Then... If I could do that... 
Like put it there. Then put the cube on the button. Then I think I should be able to do what I want to do. If I shoot at that surface instead, right? There's a surface there. Like if you would shoot that surface and go through, you will be down. And it doesn't matter how many times you walk through the life form sensor. If you have a if you have a cube prepared there, right? So that's alright. But then the question becomes how will you get both cubes? up here and I think the answer may be difficult But how would I get this cube up here, right? Because it's kind of behind this absolute fizzler. Of course I could take it out and Put it on the laser. But then I definitely won't have that portal. So I kind of can't do anything with the laser. So that's a definite problem. Like last time. I kind of had to resort to um, to like stacking cubes to that 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 guy over there in order to <coughs> in order to get all the laser cubes up properly. Like the hard part is just to establish a portal connection from sort of this upper area and below the yellow fizzler. Can I do that with just two cubes? I kind of have to, right? Or is this really where the third cube becomes necessary after all? I really hope that that's not the case. Okay, so... I think... That the only reasonable way... So this, this is after, for some proper thought. The only reasonable way to get this cube out of a position as nasty as that... Is to... respawn it and to respawn the cube I need to be able to walk through the f through the um, field once and to then get it I have to walk through it again so maybe I can Okay, so so then so because of the way that yeah, so so when 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 rescuing the cube, of course, one one walk through the life form sensor is going to spawn a turret. So I'm thinking maybe um, Um, I first want to turn turn it around, right? 
So if I do this, I can freely go up and down myself. Right, and I, I, I can, if I want, just put this cube here. Right, then I can, I can freely, freely walk. Um, and now I can just change the polarity of the of the field. Right. Sorry, turret. So now I can walk through for for free exactly once. Um, so note that I did not respawn the cubes because I don't want to lose access to my companion cube because it would just respawn into that area and I wouldn't really have made any significant progress because my whole point is to get a cube, like to get th that area um, cubeless. And the only way to sort of so the, the whole point of having to have a cube in this area is that I need sort of a connection above and below the yellow fizzler. Um, and that's what this is for. So now I will shoot... Um, well, I think... Okay, let's save here. Let's just save. Um, so I've kind of think that okay so let's 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 just try something I'm just going to get this cube <coughs> yeah excuse me Um, get this cube out of here. Right, because this is this is the second way to bypass the fizzler. That's to sort of just give up any sort of. I mean. Uh, So this is this is basically just the the first solution, right? Um, like like the the way to spawn the third cube um, that didn't go as planned, right? So right, I um, so th yeah, this is the second way to bypass the yellow fizzler. And that is of course to do something like this. Um, and then grabbing this portal. So now this is sort of a way to get around that fizzler. Um, now, so I'm sort of getting the thing that this is a better portal than that guy. So I'm, I'm going to put it there for now. So now something interesting happens in that. So, okay. So the price I had to pay was that there's a cube uh, stuck on that portal button there, so I can't walk on the white field. So ideally, I respawn the cubes. Now, the obvious drawback of this is that I'm going to lose the laser cube. But because I have one portal below um, the uh, the cube. The, the, the companion cube dropper I will not lose sort of my portal connection between these two areas so let's see if this trade was worth it. it's more like an experiment right so I will so there's there's no cube here um, but I can walk through without there being a, a new turret and now I can respawn the cubes. My Porygon dies. The... Um, oh, that's a little annoying. 
Hopefully it didn't lose collision. I had expected it to fall um, further. Um, but yeah, it's, it seems it seems to be fine. So, um, yeah. So with this done, the idea was to just take this cube, uh, go through, because now. Like, the only thing that stands in my way is that I cannot get the... That I don't have access to the laser cube. But if I would just put my cube back there... I can just grab it, right? So... Or not. No, maybe not, because I will lose... I probably can't go back down, can I? Mm. No, why am I bringing it in here? I don't want to bring that cube in here. I don't want to keep this... Wait, wait. Uh, I don't want to bring the cube in there at all. I want to preserve this blue portal. This blue portal is extremely valuable. This orange portal, not so much, right? Uh, at least, much less so. For what I want to do. Like, I can just shoot the orange portal here. Like, I, I, I lose that nice one, but, you know, I, I guess can't win them all. Um... So now I, I just take this guy through again, and I can just go down again, and I can grab my laser cube, and I still have this connection. So... Right? Now, now I can just grab the laser cube, right? Up. Boop. It drops. I mean, I, I don't know if I if I ever need to walk through the field again. I might as well. No, this is actually great, right? So now now I can even walk through it once more for free, should I desire to do so. So now um, I can just take this laser cube. Oops. Um, and take it up. And there we go, we have both cubes up here. Okay. Okay. We okay. This works. This is crazy. That was super intense. Um so now I have both cubes up here. This is a huge save moment. Because of what I want to do next. So I remember saying to myself that this was what I wanted to do. Now I have to remember why that was what I wanted to do. So, I thought to myself that this would be enough to allow myself to set up what I want to do. I think I just wanted to put one cube here. I don't think it matters which cube. So I, I think I just wanted to put one cube here. And one cube on the button like this. Because that should allow me to to yeah. So, man, I'm thinking and talking at the same time doesn't work out. So I have to forfeit my ports now. Which um, so this is just. I, I, I forgot exactly what I wanted, but... Like, I think I, I wanted to shoot this, so I can go down. And I wanted to shoot this, so I can do this. Um, like this little window, so I can, I can think some more, so... 
I can walk through this, no problem. I can respawn the cubes. All oh, right, right, of course. I was trying to set up the fling move. Now I have one portal there. And... I'm about to have both cubes in my possession when I set up this cube flinging move. Um... Because, yeah, because, the th yeah. So I'm going to what I'm. So what's going to happen is I'm going to jump down. I'll respawn the cubes. Uh, I'll, I'll just put, put the polarity in the right position that I can then, without spawning a new turret, grab the cube. The um, he will respawn. He will drop out of the portal. Well, maybe not this one. Maybe I want to drop it out of like that portal. That seems nicer. Um, and then... Um, yeah. I can... So I, I, I get back up with both cubes and that portal. I can just like go through, move the portal there. Do, okay, this might be it though. Let's see. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump down. So this drops the turret. I don't care. It's actually in the right orientation. So I think I can now respawn the cubes. Right, yeah, that's, that's more like what I expected to happen last time. Now I can also... Grab this. Right. Okay. 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 This is really good, because, I'll explain why again, I can go into this portal, like walk through this field, stand on the button, shoot this high portal, and I can just take any cube with me. I can just take any cube with me, and I can, so in particular I can take the regular cube which I can destroy using the red field. And it will do the fling, it will do, and I can shoot the thing. Now, the... more subtle thing that I'm not sure yet about is I don't think I need so I also need a laser cube to be on top of the orange Vissler and of course if I just take both cubes with me I won't be able to set that up because I can't take the laser cube through the yellow fizzler. And I also don't see any reasonable way uh, in which I can ever turn off the yellow fizzler anymore. So I kind of feel like I have to, uh, to get the laser cube on top of the orange fizzler from the bottom here. And you would say that should be possible, right? I can just y turn the uh, orange fizzler off. Oh, but staying, turn it off, and then maybe like use the lift to go through and stuff, like letting the lift carry it up. But the kind of laser cube is kind of below, and he's above, and you can all only have one cube above the. But, um, I have this portal. Okay, wait, wait, how's, how about 
How about this? It's not a buff, right? Stop. Okay. Let's let's put you here for a second. Just um, not have to uh, worry about the whole only one cube above the green fistler thing. So now I can just turn this off. And I'll take this guy um, up here. This goes down again. Um, well, that need not be the end of the world. Uh, I mean, I might be able to sort of time. It, it, it stops there for a second, so I should just be able to time this like this. Okay, it's up on the yellow. Or the orange fizzler. So, come on. If I now. Okay, wait. So I. Okay. <laughs> I'm just getting a little excited. Let's see if, if my plan actually works. Maybe Narcoats watching the video, shaking his head. What is this guy doing? Okay. So now I will jump through. Boom. I will give up the blue portal. I take the cube. I move this guy higher up. No turret. Cube can pass through the fizzler. Okay. So the idea is that I destroy it and it will grant me my portal gun. Perfect landing. Um, let's first turn off this hair. Field. I have the portal. Now I want to get to the laser. And the cube is here waiting for me very patiently. I can still move my portal. Like this. Now I should just be able to shoot all the way down, right? <laughs> there we go. There we go. Man, what a great puzzle. What's an amazing puzzle. I hope I solved it as intended. Um, I'm pretty sure I followed all the rules. Um, man, what's, a, what's an amazing puzzle. Um, Really super complicated. A lot of super cool moves. Uh, it's definitely going to get a favorite for me also from the the insane uh, concept uh, of using all the, f the fizzlers or uh, the beamot fields once. Yeah, it's it's brilliant. It's uh, very good. Like. Um, Yeah, it's just really, really amazing puzzle. Um, I just, I, it's just a couple of things that I, I don't really understand, like 
This, this, I, I realized later that this portal service is super powerful. Like, I wonder, like, is this, is this guy even necessary? I mean, maybe it is, but... It just seems like... A, in the beginning I used this one because, because it seemed better, but... This one is actually a lot better, because it doesn't have this field. I wonder if this guy is even <coughs> necessary. Also, there's probably ways to do certain things a little bit different. Like, I only used that portal service once. But in a very critical way, of course. Um, and, of course, there... Well, there was one move that I was thinking of that would be, like, absolutely fen phenomenal to also have implemented. Like, I was thinking maybe, like, if the laser... So, what I was thinking at some point was, well... What if you couldn't have... put this cube uh, there when for the last time I went to retrieve this laser cube. What if that wasn't possible? I was thinking. Um, but somehow you would be able to leave it there and then you would somehow set up a move like you would so you would be able to use this surface um, like okay I'll explain. So. I was thinking at some point maybe you could do something like this cube is on this button like you um like man okay at the point where um I momentarily lost possession of this cube because of the respawn and what I did is I brought this guy sort of like um I, I, I came through here, I took this, this guy from below, and I put it there in order to, to grab this cube. I was thinking, what if you couldn't do that for some reason, but what you would instead do is that you would bring the cube in through, uh, so sort of not, not from the bottom portal, but from this portal, so uh, you would bring it in like this. Um, then you would again move the portal to the high position, you would just take this cube over here destroy it it would fling boom on the portal or, or on the uh, yeah on the portal button then you would be here with um with your portal gun active you would be able to shoot one one to turn off the purple fizzler you would be able to shoot the um, ceiling surface right all still, still, while while your other cube, like your lace cube, is, is sitting there, sadly. Um, outside of your position. And then you would... Um, so you would have this ceiling s surface. Now, of course, the problem with this approach in the current map was that you then... You can't get down. Right? With, if you shoot the ceiling surface, you can't... Because of this yellow fizzler and... Uh, orange fizzle being active, you can't get down uh, while maintaining the ceiling surface. But I was, I was thinking, like, if by magic you would be able to get down, then you might then, s like, return down with the ceiling surface active. Um, you would then jump down, grab the laser cube, walk through the field, spawn a new turret, actually. Would, you would actually spawn a new turret but then you would come up and then well since your portal gun is still active like for example through this uh, surface you would return up jump down here with the laser cube right then for example put the laser cube here um, shoot the laser surface and then drop the cube like through the orange field to take out the turret anyway. And then you would also have sort of both cubes up. Um, well, it wouldn't it wouldn't really work. I think 
Um, because, well, yeah, this, this guy being on the button means that you don't really have both cubes in this upper area, which I think was necessary for what you wanted to do. Um, but that would just be, like, I was just thinking that would be super cool to implement. Uh, if you could somehow do it. Because it would kind of make use nicely of this, this purple fizzler, which now sort of only... You only use it when you destroy the cube um, to the red fizzler here. It would be like... Yeah, so the laser would come out of this and you would drop it and it would kill the turret. I just thought that would be really, really cool. But but yeah, in the details, I don't think that would it would uh, in, in the current map not be that beneficial to your position because well yeah, he is just still stuck on that that um, that button. Oh well, no, no, actually, it would be very beneficial because you would um, you you might you know. Um, take the cube and if you could sort of like uh, drop down to this lower area you might might put it there and then you would have exactly what you want one cube there one cube there and then you could set up the final moves in a more interesting way than the way I did it so if if so if you like this narco it's like if there is a way that you could force this and I don't see how you would do it um, because you would first need to block the solution that I just used and secondly you would have to work around the impossibility of being able to get down um, then I think that would would add some super cool steps to the solution but the map is cool enough as it is no oh, fissler interesting I hope that was clear, but yeah, anyway, super cool map, definitely going to add this to my um, favorites, and um, yeah, just a uh, very, very, very well crafted map, fantastic work, um, and if you made it all the way to the end of the video, thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and um, yeah, hope to see you in the next video. Bye.